One of the big changes they made in Resolve 18.1 is to allow you to use the Resolve FX keys over here from the edit page in the Fusion page. But there is a issue with that. If you try to do it exactly the same way, it won't come out the same. So on the edit page here, if I drag over the 3D keyer, I can enable the open effects overlay and have the effects open over here. And I just draw my line and I do the key. And now you see the key is done. You wanna, might wanna finesse it using the different settings, but that's the basics of it on the edit page. And now we'll go over to the fusion page. Can be doing rough, basically the same thing. Let's make a little room here. Then I'll hit control space to bring this up and choose 3D key here. It's right here on top. So I'll click add. Now I'll put this in the first window by hitting one on my keyboard. Now I'm going to be doing the same setting, same operation here. I'm going to be drawing a line and it looks like it's doing okay. It's doing the keying. But when you let go, you'll see that it hasn't really keyed it correctly. So quite a lot of green. You do see some of the uh, alpha coming through. But if you then go over to the edit page, you'll see that that's not right at all. And it seems to have to do with the alpha from using the OpenFX instead of a native Fusion. So what you want to do is come before your 3D here. You're going to want to add an alpha divide. So control space. So you want to add an alpha divide. And then after 3D here, do the same thing. We're just going to be adding an alpha multiply. Now, if you look at the output, it's correct. And again, you could go back to the 3D keyer. You can finesse it and change the despill and get rid of some of the green highlights that are still there. But that will fix the issue of using the 3D keyer and Fusion page. So hopefully you found that video useful. And I thank you for watching.